Thank you for allowing me to speak with you all today. Um, for this lecture on what is post-secularism, what I'm going to do is start out with um, a little bit of kind of theory, uh, introduce you to some terms that you might not be familiar with, a kind of field of study that you might not be familiar with completely. And then uh, the real bulk of the presentation is going to be uh, two concrete examples that I think you will be familiar with. Uh, one about the rise of the religious right, the so-called religious right in, in American politics, and the other having to do with the recent kind of revolutions uh, known as the Arab Spring uh, that kind of got spearheaded in some ways by uh, the, the protest over the disputed Iranian presidential elections uh, back in 2009. So these are, uh, these are two concrete examples that I hope that you're, you have some familiar, familiarity with. And then um, I'm going to sort of bring that back to some of these sort of theoretical points that we began with. So what is post-secularism? You don't have to know what that term is at all at this point. The point of the lecture is to kind of give you some sense of uh, what this term means, why it might be relevant for understanding contemporary uh, politics here at home in the United States and also geopolitically. Uh, my argument will be that there's a real monumental shift taking place uh, within our political understanding and political practice that has to do with the proper role that religion plays in relationship to politics. Uh, throughout the, the modern period, especially in the Western world, uh, the presumption was that religion and politics are kind of separate and distinct. Uh, that, there's, that, that, that one is not to interfere with the other at all costs. Um, in recent decades, uh, there's been a kind of generational shift in which that's being uh, fundamentally rethought. And so I want to sort of present that argument for you today. Much of this comes from the, the book that was just referenced uh, entitled Radical Democracy and Political Theology. Um, so I'm going to kind of begin by introducing those terms. Uh, so what is political theology? as a way of, of kind of laying out the context for this discussion of the post-secular. 